Hey gamers, Mucklick here, and this episode of Let Me Solo It is centered on Gorsival. Uh, Gorsival, I wasn't too worried about it. Um, Gorsival is a boss where he has one moment that's pretty bursty, and it's when he does what we just call the tantrum. He, he slams his fist in the ground a bunch of times, he has to see the manager, and uh, these there's these bl uh, black puddle that's under him, or a black donut around that, or a larger black donut. So there's like three sections, and they will like sit there, and then a few seconds later, they just erupt into a ton of damage. A lot of people think it's like damage over time. No, it's just like one, two, boom. So if you're right on the line, you could just step out of one, or if it's the donut, you could step inward to get out of it. But sometimes it's better to just stay in, take the hit, and burn the boss. Um, a lot of people will drag that phase out and do as much damage as possible. Uh, you drag the phase out by not CCing him or postponing when you crowd control the boss. And a lot of people will drag that phase out by postponing their CC on the boss just to get more damage in because after he finishes the tantrum there is a timer before he starts a mechanic that everybody wants to skip and if you get him to 66% or to 33% before he starts doing that mechanic you can skip that mechanic entirely so if you got enough damage you can skip the mechanic and remember our strat is 9 DPS 1 healer so our DPS is very high but our healing is a little a little strained but I am up for the challenge so on this fight uh, I took the same build that I've been taking on most of them so far on this one I brought water spirit just to be able to more easily throw a heal on people on the other side of the boss because water spirit you can just like throw you know you can do like that um you can you know make sure the heal gets uh, hits a lot of people that are on the other side because i'm tanking the boss on one side and they're on the other i brought sun spirit just to I was concerned about might generation with him not being close to me, but I did encourage them to be as close to the middle of the boss as possible. I'll be on the other side as close as possible so that I could try to hit you guys with boons. But just in case, I brought Sun Spirit because I didn't have anything else I needed there, I really felt like. Glyph of Equality was for, uh, occasionally the boss will, he'll do like a, a normal punch, a normal punch, and then a downward punch. When he does the downward one, it does like a shockwave and it knocks everybody down. Uh, so Glyph of Equality was to have a stability source on a 24 second cooldown, and plus it helps with protection uptime. So that, that that was what I brought. Uh, one thing that hurt on this fight is with the recent patch, we druids feel, it feels like we have to pet swap a lot if we're running Spirited Arrival and or Lesser Call of the Wild because these are boons that proc on pet swap. And that means if you had your pet running out to do something, you swap pets, your other pet snaps to your side, has no boons, and then has to run out to attack again. The combination of constantly stripping your pet of boons and constantly pulling them back to you and run them running off again, you we've lost between half and two thirds of our damage, I feel like, as a result of that. Usually on Gorsival, I feel like a pet class. I am remote controlling my pet and having it go around the room and constantly killing the largest blue orb in the room so that we have way more space to work with. It was very difficult with this build to do that because of the constant pet swapping and stuff. But with that, I'll go into the video now and I'll uh, see you for post thoughts on the other side okay here we go and get really close to his booty if you want the boons all right tantrum Get out of the black goo if you can. Get in, move inward, move inward. Machion, you've stood in it twice now. Alright, just get hit by this one. Okay, y'all need to interrupt. This is taking longer than a normal group does. We uh, definitely dragged out the CC there a bit too long. Okay. Alright, third and fourth are rooted for 10 seconds. Here, 
It's made up of spirits. Lots of spirits. Why did I dodge that? I gave myself stability so I didn't have to dodge that. Okay. CC it, CC it, CC it. We got 9 DPS, we don't need to drag it out too long. Ghost phase, ghost phase. I'm gonna chill this one, chat, so it slows down a little so that these two even up and then entangle both of them. Okay, remember if you accidentally touch one of the blue balls, you got to touch a gold ball or you will lose your damage. If you've got the thing that looks like a little ghost icon on your buff bar, you have lost your damage. Watch out for the eggs, get ready to dodge. Alright, step out of the goo. Move in, move in, close. Okay, we're all up. What, dodge the eggs soon? And burn. Burn before he blows up the room. That's the current objective. Freaking nice! Okay, so Gorsival was no big deal. We did it on the first try. There were a few downstates. With 9 DPS, it made the burn phases even easier. Like, if you had 8 DPS that were already doing, like, higher end of DPS numbers, you skip so many Gorsival phases. With 9 DPS, it was even more lax on those requirements, so it was just very easy to meet, like, all the burn windows. We, we probably didn't need to drag out the CC phase as long as we did, but it's, I think we a lot of us were doing it out of habit. Looking at boon up time, um, uh, near 25 might across the board. Fury was fine. Our quickness, I think we had the same quickness provider we had for the Veil Guardian video, so it was it, it was not as good as it should have been. Alacrity was good. Protection was good on group two, almost perfect on group one, and that's probably because some of my glyphs were not reaching them. <laughs> I could, I could do a whole video on that. Regen was not quite capped on group two, but, you know, the group priority that happens sometimes um and yeah and then i was occasionally doing stability for the shockwaves but yeah it was pretty standard stuff i had to bring entangle for the ghosts as you saw in the video it the, the thing with the pet really bothers me because there's two boss fights there's two raid bosses in the game where i feel like i'm playing a pet class and it's gorsival and samurog on samurog i can remote control the jacaranda and have it use its f2 root to kill the spears and it's helpful it's actually noticeably helpful for the raid the gorsival you could constantly have your pet uh which is unfazed by the blue aura run into the blue orbs and keep killing the biggest blue orb to free up root space in the room but it took me three pet swaps for my pet to kill the orb because one I kept porting it back to me and two I kept uh removing all its boons every time I pet swapped with the new system so definitely a little less enjoyment for me uh, in that regard but the rest of it was fine this wasn't too bad I anticipate the ability for random people who might be interested in solo healing to handle Gorsival is way easier than Veil Guardian if you're interested in doing that I think that's it I think that's all my thoughts on that one not really much I would change there um yeah, see you in the next one. <laughs>